Good afternoon. It's Friday, May 1st, and I thought I was recording Saturday's devotional, so I'm sorry this is coming to you a little late. Um, as we continue to stay at home, I've been thinking about how most of our homes are places filled with love, and that's a really good thing. I started thinking about uh, 1971 on a hilltop when people were singing a song. It was a Coca-Cola commercial, and uh, the song was, I'd like to teach the world to sing. The first verse goes like this. I'd like to build the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honey bees and snow white turtle doves. Perhaps some of you remember that. I know some of you out there are too young to remember that. But I wanted to think about how some people do not have homes furnished with love. And so this week it's come to me uh, that the rates of abusive relationships, domestic violence has increased during this pandemic. And um, in some cases, perhaps those are doubling and people are stuck at home and cannot get out to places of safety. So I was drawn to Psalm 86 in the scriptures and would like to read some of those verses to you. So I encourage you to listen now for the word of the Lord from Psalm 86. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and listen to my cry of supplication. For in the day of my trouble I call on you, for you will answer me. I encourage you to pull out your Bibles and read the rest of Psalm 86 too. It's a beautiful psalm. And um, like many in this pandemic time, I felt inspired to take the words of that psalm and put them to that familiar tune. So bear with me and um, listen now for Psalm 86 to a new tune. Incline your ear, O Lord my God, and answer from above. For there are poor and needy souls whose homes aren't filled with love. Save your servant whose cry does ring to you from all homes. Gladden their soul and lift them up and hold them in your arms. For you, O Lord, abound in love to all who call on you. Hearing the prayers of fearful ones that need your presence, true love's the real thing that the world needs today. That's the way we will pray. Love's the real thing. Teach us your way, O Lord of truth, all nations you have made shall come and bow down before you and glorify your name loves the real thing that the world needs today that's the way we will pray loves the real thing let us pray O god of love Hear your children when they call upon you and seek you when they fear for their lives. Send your guardians of hope to guide and comfort them in their distress. Be present, give courage, provide a way out for those who are in abusive situations and need escape. Make a way in the wilderness as you did with your people in ancient times, leading them to safety and providence. Create now a place and a life of love for those who need it most. In the strong name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.